Before we're done with this app, let's make a handful of small changes to really polish up what we have. The first of these is what if the user sort of looks at their order here on the order screen and thinks, actually, I, I decided against one of these items. I don't want donuts anymore. Right now, we can add items, but we can't delete them. There's no way of changing your heart, uh, mind here. Fortunately, this isn't very hard to remedy. Um, just like UIKit, SwiftUI worked with tables like this one here using index set, which is a collection of locations in the data. And so we can add a method to the order view that accepts an index set and deletes any items from the array that match that index set. And so uh, let's do that now in uh, order view. Add a new option here, func delete items at offsets index set. Delete items A, B, and C, whatever. We'll just do order dot items dot remove at and we want the at offsets option, which is there, offsets. Just pass that thing down to the items array. And that's it. And now you can connect that to SwiftUI. You can say, hey, actually that delete items thing, call that when they want to delete items from our loop of data, which is up here, this for each. We can say, uh, I want to add a modifier to this for each, which is uh, on the for each directly. We'll say dot on delete perform Oops, not even that one. Perform, no closure required, delete items. Boom. Just call that method delete items when you want to delete items in the for each. And that's actually really it. Um, you can go ahead and, and, and press uh, Command R to build the code back. I'll add uh, uh, Penicarbonara and then I swipe to delete. Boom. Away you go. <laughs> it's really easy to do. And in fact, we can even. Uh, add a little toolbar here, make an uh, optional edit button appear. We'll say uh, below our, our, our list style, there is a toolbar, inside there is an edit button, like that. I want to have an edit button inside our toolbar. That alone will do it for us. So again, I'm gonna add an item, let's do uh, veggie pizza, order this, order, there's edit button. Press edit, click on this, delete, done. So it's doing nearly all the work for us. It knows an edit button should toggle the table when it's pressed, when it goes between editing and not editing mode. Uh, it, it does that all for us, which is really, really nice. So we get a system default behavior completely free, which is amazing. Um, second upgrade. Why, um, if we're in here and there's nothing in our, our, our options, why can we press place order? We can get to this screen here, but there's nothing to order. There's no actual data here. It's all zero and stuff. It's just a bit silly. We shouldn't really allow that. You shouldn't be allowed to get to the screen if your items are empty. And we can do that back in order view again. We have this whole section here to check out when they press this place order button. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new modifier to that section. We'll say a section has a disabled modifier, which when this, give it a, a Boolean, when this Boolean is true, the section is disabled. So we'll do order dot items dot is empty. So watch whether the items array is empty. If it is empty, disable the section. If it isn't, enable it. So I'll press Command R now. Uh, so we'll uh, add a uh, corn on the cob to the order and order it. And there we go, place order looking quite nice. If I edit it, delete corn on the cob, and now it's grayed out. I can't navigate to the checkout view anymore, which is really, really nice. And finally, one last thing, uh, we are, uh, we're on this screen here, let's press done, go to here again. Um, this final screen here, the important bit, uh, the, 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 the checkout amount, six bucks, 90 or you know, more tip, whatever, that's important. But it's actually a fairly small piece of text because it is the section header text. And what we really want to do is go to checkout view and say, actually, you need to be much bigger than that. Don't be uh, a tiny little thing. And so we can, if I just make a bit of space here so you can see what's actually happening, uh, let's put that on its new line like that. There we go. I'll just basically add some line breaks to make it easy to read. Um, we can actually make this total price bigger. We could say this has a font of large title to make it you know, super chunky on the screen so you really cannot miss the amount of money you're about to pay. So as you can see here, it's now a uh, total zero bucks and zero cents. Nice and big. Uh, so it's no more worry about that anymore.